Big Lou here. Hey, Lou, this is Crystal calling. There it is. We got Crystal Shawanda, folks. I was just telling them about you and your awesome. wonderful Florida tour coming up. Yeah, we're going to be coming down your way very soon. The countdown is on for us. Yes, yeah. it's been a long time, huh? It has been. It's been too long. Hey, uh, let me ask you, any anything new in the woodworks at the studio? Oh, we've been working in the studio. We're we're already working on the next next album, and and it's getting pretty close to being done. We we kind of finished up the bulk of it pretty quick, and then we kind of stood there and we're like, you know what? We need to sit back and just let it let it uh, you know simmer for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Church House Blues was uh, award winning and an amazing album, um, and you you really didn't get to tour it because of the pandemic. So the floor, people in Florida uh, have a big 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 surprise coming with this album, huh? Yeah, for sure. It's 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 been really nice to get out and finally play this music live. You know, we got to do some shows this summer up in Canada and, you know, it felt real good just to like, you know, some, I kept saying, sometimes it didn't even feel like we released an album because we didn't get to go out and play it live. So we needed to play this new music for everybody. We have uh, Big Daddy's in here with me. Scott's over here with me. He's How you doing, quiet. Crystal? Hey, Scott. I'm just uh, listening to the conversation, that's all. You have any questions, awesome, Scott? Man. I have any questions. You have a seven-place uh, venue, seven tours going on. I'm sorry. One tour, seven venues down here in Florida. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. We're excited about it. We're, We're looking forward be... to seeing you here in Port Charlotte. Yes, we can't. We we can't wait. We got a got and a great band, and we're gonna we're gonna come and play our hearts out. I, I know you're bringing uh, Flip on drums. Yes, we sleep with you on drums, so it's going to be a fun, yeah, fun, yeah. fun time. We we toured with Lewis for many, many years, and and uh, and he took a break from the road to work on some solo projects, and so he's coming out to play some shows. So it'll be a bit of a family reunion for us up on stage. And, and we were talking about that husband of yours that doesn't get a lot of credit, but he's probably one of the most amazing guitar players out there. He really is. He, he gets, you know, he, a lot of people sell him short because, you know, because he is my husband. People are like, oh, he's just got the gig because he's the husband. Um, you know, but we, we came together as musicians first before we got married. So I'm his biggest fan. And, you know, he's a big part of my sound on stage and in the studio. Um, you know, that's kind of kind of our dynamics you know big voice big guitar yeah that's what i was saying that not only is he a great guitar player he's a hell of a songwriter yeah and uh a producer himself d wayne is a musical mind to be reckoned with there's no doubt about it yeah um, he really is you know I, I learned everything that i know about producing from him you know i always had a uh curiosity about producing and i researched it and i learned from other producers but it wasn't until i started working with Dwayne that i was able to have a, a, a mentor right there you know hands-on all the time um so he's, he's really brilliant in the studio now i've done a little bit of homework on here crystal and i, I gotta hit you with this one are you ready sure <laughs> when am i gonna see you pick up a strat again I hear you're a pretty good guitar player yourself. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I, you know, a few years ago, I made the choice to, to I, I want to be, you know, uh, a revered vocalist. That's what I want to be. I want to be a, a powerhouse vocalist. And I found for myself when I was on stage that sometimes when I was playing guitar, that it actually helped me back from, um, you know, how. Pre I want my precision to be on point, you know, and sometimes I felt like that was almost a distraction for me. And, you know, for me, there's a lot of amazing guitar vocalists out there. But for me, I want to be, you know, known as a vocalist because that that's, you know, I really want to focus on that and make that my strength. And um, I, I it's kind of just a, a decision that I made for myself a few years ago. A, a Crystal, as, as good as a guitar player that you may ever be, You'll always be known as a vocalist. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> There's no <laughs> doubt. You can sing the phone book, man. I, 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 oh, thank, I, thank you, guys. I, I appreciate that. You know, I've been... I never stopped working on my voice. So when I made the choice a few years ago to just focus on my voice, 
I feel like I grew as a vocalist leaps and bounds. Like I've come so far from just five years ago. So I, I, I know in my mind I made the right decision. So you got a nice run. You got Little Bar, Inglewoods, the Center Bar, Whispering Oaks. You're going to be at our Pioneer Palooza. That is just something that I happened to start building, and it just blew up into a three-day event, and it just went over the top. And uh, we're looking forward to having you there. The people at Pioneer Palooza, give what do they? What are they in store for with your band? You know, for us, our show is a, it's a high energy show, but it's also an emotional roller coaster ride. You know, we we kind of take people through different phases, but you know, it always comes back around to being a high energy show, and it's a lot of fun, a um, lot of emotions, and uh, you know, the style that changes up and down. It's it's a fun show. A lot of people um, who leave our show, they're they're always <clears throat> really happy and excited, and they can't wait for the next one. So. Hopefully everybody will feel the same way when we come over there. Now, let me ask you, where is the star of the Crystal Shawana show? Where is the famous Zaza? Is she going to be there? Yeah, yeah. Will Zaza it's, make an appearance? It's, it's funny when you're a Juno award-winning, you know, multi-award winning musician and vocalist, and people ask, will your daughter be there? I think that's will cool. Will Zaza be there? <laughs> all the hard work you put I in. All I the hard it. work, Crystal, that you put in, and they want to know where Zaza is, you know? <laughs> you know, I always, to be honest, I always leave it up to her, you know, because I don't ever want this to not be fun for her. Um, so it's it's always about her enjoyment, her happiness, um, you know. So I always leave it up to her. I ask her before the show, "Hey, do you feel like joining us on stage today?" And if she says if she says yes, then she comes on. If she says no, then I I never bother, I never push her to do anything she doesn't want to do. That's so cool. I want it to, I want it to be something fun for her and. And, you know, I love it that people ask about her. I've, I've totally uh, made it that way. You know, ever since she was born, um, you know, I always knew that I didn't want to leave her at home with nannies. I want her to be on the road with us, out in the studio with us, because, um, you know, we, we're workaholics. We work all the time. Cool. So if she's always with a nanny, I would never see her. So, <laughs> so I... she's with us all the time. So. That's why I started introducing her in my videos and in the pictures, because I'm like, people need to be prepared. She may possibly be with us. That's so cool. I, uh, I, I, just so that you know, I told the sound man that he better have a three-foot uh, microphone pole. Just in case. And, and a mic ready for her, just in case she gets on there. We'll let her sing a song <laughs> to the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I, uh, I, we've seen it. We basically, we've seen her grow up with you, because I've known you since mm -hmm. she was just a baby. And, yes, uh, absolutely. Hey, and in the book of childhood memories, my God, <laughs> the memories this child has as compared to me, you, or even yourself, Crystal, are amazing, you know? And, and Scott. It, it really is. You know, we, we have this picture of her where she's standing um, by the river downtown Nashville and the skyline is behind her. You know, when she, I took that picture and she was like three and it just, it really, uh, you know, wraps up her life in a nutshell, you know, like she's growing up in Nashville, Tennessee. You know, she's hung out in the studio with the McCrary sisters and cool. and Dave Rowe, and you know the list goes on and on. And it's just it's amazing the experiences she's having as a little kid. So, um, you know, hopefully when she grows up, she'll look back and see it as such. Yeah, and I just crack up at you know the countless interviews I hear where people say, and this is award-winning Crystal Shawanda, so let's conduct our interview. How's Jaja -Ja doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, so we, we, we love it. You know, if, if she chooses a career in um, the entertainment world, then, you know, then hopefully I'm giving her a leg up, giving her, you know, planting these seeds now. And, um, you know, and then if she decides to do something entirely different, that's totally cool, too. But, um, you know, I'm planting these seeds for her, and if, it's, it's definitely an option for her if she wants. That's really uh, obviously, even when you won this last Juno Award, Crystal, that nobody really cared. All they cared about was when Jaja yelled, Mommy, you won! Mommy, you won! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, 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 I think, like, a lot of the news sources in Canada were citing it as they. a lot of people were saying, and the Juno Award for the cutest moment of the night goes to Crystal Shawanda's daughter, Jaja. Yeah, yeah. so, um, and it was funny, you know, because I honestly did not expect to win because... I was nominated with some really amazing blues musicians who I really respect and admire. And, and so I was, <laughs> you know, we had all been sending messages to each other like, oh, let's dress up our top halves, you know, because it's always all virtual. And 
you know, for me, I was like, I'm not even going to bother dressing up. I just put on my shaver t-shirt. I had on my pajama pants and we were eating pizza and donuts. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, so cool. and, you know, I thought, and then I pulled her on my lap for when they announced the nominees. Cause I said, Hey, they'll show us. I was like, you could wave to everybody, you know, thinking I wasn't going to win. And then when they announced I won, I didn't, it didn't even register. Like D-Wayne and Georgia actually had to tell me you won. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. So, You're very it was, humble. It was an amazing experience. You're very humble, Crystal. I've always said, and I've discussed it with you, how much of a humanitarian I think you are. So that's beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. I, you know, if there's one thing throughout my whole journey is, is if I can hold on to the values that my mom raised me with, then I'm one. So, that's really cool. You know, because this crazy <laughs> business can pull out the worst in everybody. <laughs> is uh, is mom coming down with you on this Florida run? Yes, both my mom and dad will be coming and down with us. So we're, we're this is going, for, I'm just for letting sure. you know that this is going somewhere. Are you guys going to be staying in that same area that you guys stay in all the time? Yes, yes, okay, definitely. Okay, that's only about a 20-minute drive from us. Tell yeah. your mother that I am looking forward to those amazing cinnamon rolls she makes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll have to- this was going so somewhere. <laughs> this was this was definitely going somewhere. Hey, and on another note, tell D Wayne that I surely like to get him in that tattoo chair this time around. Yes, that would be awesome. I know he really wants one of those done. Well, so we'll do. We'll, we'll we'll take a Sunday and do a private session there. Yeah, that would be great, man. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we gotta make that happen. We'll take the, I'll take the uh, camera and we'll do a little Facebook and let you sing or talk to the people. Hey, maybe he'll get the uh, double swallow heart crystal Shawanda image there. That would be real nice. Oh, that would be really cool. He actually said that. He said, I would get that tattooed on me because it looks so cool on your design. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take that as word and we're going to bang it. <laughs> no. we'll bang if he's here out. and it goes as such, I would love to do that for him. Anyway, <laughs> that's awesome. I will let you get going back to your family there, Crystal, and I will leave it with this. I was glad that Rob Pate hired, uh, talked me into bringing you in that they'd open up for uh, Ali Vanderbilt. And oh yes! I was so happy today that that happened in my life because as a, I hired you as a musician and we've become friends throughout the years, and uh, I'm proud to say that you're a friend of ours here at the station, and personally of myself. And cinnamon buns. And cinnamon buns. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, I appreciate all the support, all the friendship uh, over the years. It's been really awesome. You know, for me, I don't, I'm not really a big, um, what do you call it, a big networker. You know. Uh, for me, the friendships that I have are genuine and real. If we're friends, it's because we made a connection. So I appreciate the support, and we can't wait to come down. All That's right, cool. Crystal, we love you, and we'll see you soon. All right, love you guys. Have Take a great care. day. We'll see you all soon. All right, yes, bye-bye. Bye-bye.